Breaking news, everybody. The Clark County Commissioners unanimously voted to rename the airport after Harry Reid. What is this all about? They want to leave a mark for him. They want to show, ooh, that he's such a big deal and delivered a lot of contributions to society. Now, don't panic. This has to go through, through the FAA, and probably the LVCVA has to look at it. But nevertheless, there's still time. We can schedule protests. We can put banners, signs. We can file lawsuits. This is an opportunity to go after his scandals, expose this guy of who he really was. And the fact of the matter is, is that this is also an opportunity to recall these county commissioners, not to mention for the tax increases that some of them voted for in the last year or so. And they're just going to make these empty promises, perhaps, that, oh, this is all going to be privately funded, no need to worry, give me a break. Usually these people don't follow on what they're trying to do, and Again, it's just double standards. Basically what it is is that this is a guy who actually made, from what I know, racist remarks about Obama when he was running for president. But oh no, because he's somehow exempt or whatever the case that may be, you know, people just are not allowed to talk about it. But you see, the thing is, is the McCarran, they claim he was anti-Semite or whatever, that because of that, because of the George Floyd riots, that there has to be a renaming proposal. Think about it. I mean, do you think we should rename things that are named after Washington because he had a different views on other races? Think about it. It's just really getting horrible. Just look at all the scandals with Harry Reid. You look at the Harry Whitmore. You look at the, I believe the visa program, what happened with the SLS Hotel, Sahara. You look at the fact that he voted for the Iraq War. He voted, believe it or not, to vote for the TARP bailouts that happened in 2008. Talk about a senator who really cares about the people. And he didn't even regret that these things were absolutely mistakes. And talk about racism. He's the one that lives in a guard-gated area in the Anthem neighborhoods of Henderson. And by the way, if you're wondering why Henderson is so crooked compared to all these other cities like Las Vegas and Northtown, it's because Harry Reid has a lot of influence over that city council. Again, he was elected because, well, had to do with initially identity politics because he was a Mormon. You have a lot of Mormons that follow his rules. And later on, of course, when he started to lose support, he played identity politics and the race card to basically cater to minorities, particularly Latinos with the culinary union to get elected. So the fact of the matter is this really proves who these people really work for. And this makes you believe that all these elections are really true. Do you really think that the reason why they stopped counting, they pause and everything is simply because, well, th- there was some glitches or there's all these mail-in votes? Are you kidding me? Think about it. And why do you think that people like me are so critical of immigration? Because, again, they want to pump more votes. Harry Reid's benefited from the mass immigration, the culinary union, to basically get the additional votes he needed because all the scandals he had, he was losing support. So he had to basically supplement the deficits. That's basically how this all goes out. And the worst part about this is not helping immigrants. It's benefiting the MGM, culinaries, all these people around the world, the Wall Street elites. And they tell you, oh, this is so bipartisan that Miriam Adelson is for this. Folks, this tells you that it really doesn't matter whether it's Republican or Democrat. It just matters that the elites want it. The Democrats and Republicans are usually the politicians, the donors are in the same boats. And that explains the whole enchilada of what's going on, exposes who they are working for. And the problem is they're using the race card. This was racist. Rename this. Tear this down. It's getting insane. But in fact, what they could have done is rename the airport to the Las Vegas International Airport. Oh, wait, no. Las Vegas probably is a Spanish colonial, uh, not so indigenous friendly term. Oh, no, no, that's just not friendly enough. Or perhaps I should change my name from Cyrus, because Cyrus probably, Cyrus the Great didn't believe in equal rights. Just give me a break. And the fact is, I guess we can hope that maybe if the economy collapses or we have see some severe disruptions to our society, the game will change. And I just have to say, maybe it's time just to reorganize the government. I mean, this county government is just pretty dysfunctional. I think that smaller cities perhaps would do a better job 
I don't know. I could be wrong. But you let me know what you think. Could we fight back? Is this an opportunity for us to rise up, stand up, recall these people, expose the truth? What do you think?